Hello. I guess I'm kind of focusing on small projects right now. Um, one of the things that needed attention was my glasses. Uh, these are my every, everyday wear glasses, and a while back, the hinge on this side failed. So I built a little simple flashlight onto the side. It used uh, just conduction, just um, a simple transistor circuit to run an LED. Uh, so it started with a repair project that kind of expanded into, hey, let's build a flashlight onto my glasses. Um, so that worked nice for a while. Then I upgraded it. So now I actually have a little circuit board. Let's see if I can get this here. Ah. A little tiny circuit board. That's just you know, perf that it basically scratched so it had a grid of squares on it. And I've dropped a tiny 85. Um, right here you can barely see is a 2N7000 transistor that's driving the LED. This is my, on my ballast. Here's a pull down and, and an output protection resistor for the transistor. And over here there's another LED, and another resistor, and another resistor, and that's for the button, and various things. So I packed that into a pretty small space. And back here, I used to have a nickel metal pack. Now it's lithium polymer. And I put on a little micro USB charge circuit. So I took one of those spark fun, you know, boards. They're, they're actually about this length, but uh, pretty skinny. I um, basically chopped it in half, filed it down, and did a little bit of tweaking, and was able to get the board down to about, eh, I don't know, 40% of its original size. Then I soldered it onto a little brass box in here that I've made, which protects a lithium cell like this. So, and the size is pretty similar. Uh, it's 110 milliamp hour cell, so I get pretty decent life. But yeah, get to the good part, it's flashlight. Uh, I've got a button for control. So as long as I hold the button on, brightness increases. You can actually see the duty cycle quite nicely on the, uh, on the uh, camera because of the refresh rate and all that. Uh, of course, I can take it up to max. So you don't want to see a straight bar. And in here is another LED that's more or less pointed in my eye in my peripheral vision because if there's any light in the room and say I've just used this to look at something up close, I can't always tell it's still on. So there's a little light that reminds me that it's on. I may, you know, reduce the frequency and this and that and of course I'm using it for other um, feedback for human interface. This, uh, there's a tiny 85 on here and this program is only a few bytes. So, uh, there's a lot more room for expansion. There's also free t uh, two free I.O. lines, so I can hook up a whole bunch more LEDs, I could hook up a sensor, I could hook up who knows what. But that's that. And recently, uh, this joint failed as well, so I rebuilt another one, again, with the proper stop, so it actually uh, pulled itself up. But it's completely foldable. Oh yes. I've also got the option of, uh, when it's blinking quick like that, if I tap it again, it'll keep going for another minute or so at the same brightness. I didn't quite catch it in time there. But that's an example of the kind of feedback it gives me is, uh, you know, I'm about to shut off, but if you hit the button again, I get another minute, that sort of thing. Or I may set it up so, if, uh, you know, uh, I can hold the button for a while and it'll blink three times and then that means it'll stay on forever. Um, Hooking up the LED to the pack, I get uh, something like a two hours of straight run time out of it, so it's not bad. But yeah, I wear these every day with my normal glasses. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching.